Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So as the title of this video suggests, Octopath Traveler is now booting through its menus, loading into its in-game menus and also successfully loading into game. So we are only able to do this with the use of a game save from the Nintendo Switch itself, but you can indeed see that there we go, we are now loaded into the main menu of Octopath Traveler for the Nintendo Switch. So while the graphics on these tiles are not currently rendered, if we wait a few seconds we should see that some of the background graphics are going to start rendering and there we go, you can see some of the graphics, it's a bit hard to make out but you can indeed see that they are being rendered. Now obviously they're not perfectly rendered and none of the menu tiles are rendered but I'm going to show you a workaround for that in a few seconds. The only reason we are getting any rendered background graphics at all is because you have to come to emulation, you come to configure, the graphics tab and then you have to turn on use accurate frame buffers. Now this does slow down the game a little bit but it doesn't slow it down too much uh, to be honest. So. Now what I'm going to try to do is try to get to the settings menu and show that that does indeed work. We're just going to need to wait through this menu. And there we go, we are now loaded into the settings menu. So as with the title menu, input is a bit wonky in this section and it just seems to be jumping all over the place. But if we exit back out, you will be able to see that the fonts for new game continue and the settings tab are now being semi-correctly rendered. Now the next thing I'm going to try to do is come to new game and to be honest this could crash at any moment but it hasn't yet so let's just continue. Now we're now loaded into the title, well it's kind of a title map screen where you select all of your different travelers out of the eight but as I previously said the input is a bit wonky and it doesn't really work so I'm trying to navigate with my d-pad here just so I can select one of these different travelers just to show you that yeah there you go they do indeed work and you can select them and you can select new game with them it won't crash if you go into new game but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to continue and I'm going to load one of these saves and show you what graphics are like when we actually get into some gameplay. So I'm just going to select the save, select yes, and then I'm going to load through this screen. And there you go, there is Octopath Traveler in-game on Yuzu emulator for the very first time. So you probably can't make it out but this is actually a speech bubble being rendered and generally what will happen right now is the game is just going to soft lock or it's just going to completely crash me to my desktop. And there we go, you can see that, as I said, it was just going to soft lock. It has indeed completely frozen on this screen. So that's pretty much all that Octopath Traveler does as of right now. And also, as I said, you do need a game save in order to proceed to any of these in-game screens or any of the menu screens. But it's still absolutely awesome to see another game booting in this Nintendo Switch emulator. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Cheers for checking it out. Remember to like it if you liked it dislike it if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.